Hey everyone, this video here uh, is going to be the beginning of a series of videos on how to get started on a kitchen remodel. So if you've ever thought about doing a kitchen remodel, um, this will give you a lot of insight, a lot of good advice uh, as to what to look out for, uh, what to do, what not to do. And, and again, this is just my opinion on things um, to help you out. So uh we're here at the main page of uh, kinres.com if you click on the go to the kinres sitemap up here you can click uh, go to the showroom and it'll give you this list uh, and i've compiled a list uh, this is not an all-inclusive list these are just the main the main points but this video is going to be on getting started so we're going to click here pretty soon the one thing I wanted to share with you is that uh, I normally don't like to do those music uh, video intros because they waste time, uh, but I found out they are a necessity for me because uh, with all the videos that will be put on this channel here in the near future, uh, this helps me label them, helps me and you find them easy, uh, find them easier uh, in production. So anyway, uh, let's get started. <clears throat> So again, uh, this is my advice to you uh, as far as kitchen remodels go. Uh, what you're going to want to do in your kitchen remodel, there are several things to, to remember and to go over, and you're not going to re remember them all today. Uh, but what you want to do is one of the first things that I recommend is getting a notebook to write things down in. And here's why you want to write them down. Usually in... A kitchen remodel you're gonna have to make between 80 to 100 decisions you're not gonna make them all in one day now in the notebook you can have several categories you know you can do uh, appliances flooring lighting cabinets uh, handles and knobs fixtures anyway you can see how the list can grow and what you want to do, you want to stand in your current kitchen, your old kitchen, no matter if you've lived in the house 20 years or if you've um, just moved in. But what you want to do is you want to stand in the kitchen and you want to write down, um, what do I like about the current kitchen? Well, uh, you know, I like that the silverware drawer is on the end of the cabinet run. Uh, by the uh, next to the table uh, so that way if somebody needs to get up and grab a fork it's easier to to get to so write that down and likewise you also want to put what you're not gonna like about your kitchen or you know what you don't like about your current kitchen it could be the layout it could be something as simple as well my dishwasher's on the right side of the sink I'm left-handed so I want it on the left hand I want it on the left side of the sink so write that down and the I the key here is you want to keep all of the items in your kitchen that you like and put them into the new design. And then you want to remove all the items that are in your current design that you don't like and just make sure that those are not even in, in the uh, new design. So that's sort of the key. One of the other things you want to look at is uh, if you will be staying in the house, you want to ask yourself, well, how old am I going to be uh, in my new kitchen? Now, what I mean by this is, uh, how old will you be 10, 15, 20 years from now if you plan on living in the same house? So let's say you're you know, 45 now and uh, there's a cabinet where you have to get on your hands and knees to dig out the pots and pans and you hate doing that. So what you're gonna do is, well, Maybe you want to incorporate some rollout trays to get to the items easier so you don't have to get on your hands and knees anymore. And if you're 45 now, imagine if you stay in your house 20 years, you're going to be 65. So are you really want, you know, do you really want to uh, be getting on your hands and knees still when you're 65 years old to uh, dig out those pots and pans or any other items you may need? Another question you want to ask yourself is this, what exactly am I remodeling here? Uh, am I removing any walls? Uh, am I, if I have a peninsula that comes out, 
Am I removing the peninsula? Do I have soffits coming out of the ceilings? Uh, sometimes people refer to those as bulkheads. And if you don't know what the soffits are, those are those, those are those drywall boxes that usually protrude out from the ceiling out about maybe 12 to 14 inches and down about you know 12 uh, inches from the ceiling. Uh, some of the older homes have them in. One of the trends now is that most people are getting rid of the soffits, but you want to be careful there because sometimes those soffits, especially on two-story homes, they can hold electrical, venting, uh, HVAC work, some type of ducting. So you don't want to just grab a hammer and start knocking those soffits down. So you really want to get a good idea of what you want to uh, remodel here when you start your uh, when you start your kitchen. That'll give you the basic idea. Um, and again, you're going to be going into uh, walking into this kind of blind. So uh, you're going to have a lot of decisions to make. Uh, again, you know, uh, the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. Same with a sandwich, of course, you know, you're not going to shove the whole thing in your mouth. You definitely don't want to do this. But in the meantime, you know, once you get your, your notebook going, you want to start looking at magazines and pictures and websites and get a, get a feel for what you like. What, what type of look do you like? Do you like the raised panel door? Do you like the shaker style door? What color do you want to go with? You know, currently right now, the trend is and has been for the past few years that the white shaker cabinet is typically the uh, the most popular uh, cabinet style right now that I've noticed. So that's what you want to do to get started. Uh, don't forget budget. You really want to sit there and think, um, how much money am I going to dump into this project? Uh, you know, there. Believe me, there. Are, when it comes to pricing out, you know, kitchens. Uh, you've got to look at flooring, countertops, cabinets. More than likely, you're going to be painting the walls. You'll need new cabinets and hand, or handles and knobs for the doors and drawers. Uh, possibly some new lighting fixtures, uh, new appliances. I mean, the list can just go on and on and on. So you want to get a good idea of uh, the budget of how much money you want to spend in this. And don't worry about spending too much because... If you put it into the kitchen, you're going to get probably 80% of that cost out if and when you do sell the house. Um, so that's what you want to look at, too, uh, is the budget, in, meaning you can do, you know, you can get a very nice kitchen on a low budget, a medium budget, and a high budget. There are ways to uh, get the look you want and get the design and style you want without really going overboard. Uh, anyway, that is the end of this first video. I hope this helps. Uh, the next video will be uh, the 10 biggest mistakes for uh, during your remodel. So uh, pay attention to that one. Uh, that one will have a lot of good info in it as well. So take care.